Hello everyone, my name is Kim and I am so, so glad you're here. It is the third Friday of the month, so you know what that means. So as you guys know, last month I took a little bit of a break from posting videos. That doesn't mean I stopped shopping at Dollar Tree. I went ahead and saved everything in a pile on my floor so that I could show you. If you missed my last Dollar Tree haul, which was the first half of my collections haul, I will link that down below. The collections video I'm going to be doing today is all stationary, which of course I'm super excited about because you know how obsessed I am with stationary. And I was just swatching lipstick, so I kind of have oddly pink hands, so just ignore that. So let's go ahead and start with tape. I have been fighting the temptation to buy the duct tape. I have no reason for duct tape, you guys, but I just couldn't fight it any longer. <laughs> ah, I got pink. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm sure I'll figure something out, but that's not all. Nope, 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 nope. I had to get the hearts. Thankfully they match. So that happened. Yep. <laughs> and I also got the Scotch brand washi tape, which I've never tried before. I got this one. I think I'm actually just gonna take them out so you can see what they look like. It's a pretty good size, I guess. Not too bad. All right, hello. How do you come off plastic? Life is really difficult with long nails. I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to do this, but you know me, I gotta do it the most difficult way and I am always package opening challenged. Come on, I did it, I did it, yes! So this is kind of like a funky 80s geometric type pattern I'd say, which is pretty cool, I like that. Ooh, nice. I like it. So I got that one and I should have unwrapped all these ahead of time. Hold on, I'm going to do that. BRB guys. Two hours later. And we're back. Okay, so next one I got was this alphabet. Pretty cute. Okay, I like it, I like it. And next is this one, which I still am not sure what it is. Stamps? Travel? Is that an airplane? I guess that's an airplane. Alright, cool. Ooh, go back on the roll. Come on, friend. You can do it. Oh, that's a mess. Oh, well. I'll take care of it later. And then I got this one, and I actually, for some reason, ended up with two of them. I bought it in two different shopping trips, so I guess I really like this pattern because I bought it twice. I've never tried the Scotch brand before, and so far, so good. I really like it. So that's it for the Scotch brand. Here's the second one I bought of that pattern. And then I found two washi tapes of this brand that I don't have yet, which is amazing. So I got this black and white, I guess that's called Paisley. Is that right? I'm sure you'll let me know. <laughs> oh, okay. Huh. 
I kind of like the Scotch brand better. Interesting. This is closer to a tape, like a Scotch tape material, but more, how to explain this? It's more papery than a Scotch tape, but the Scotch brand washi, I would say is more of a paper. I don't know how to explain this. Just try it out. I don't know. I'm going to cut that part out. And then I got the birthday balloons or whatever celebration balloons. I guess they're not specifically birthday. Very colorful. I actually really like this a lot. <laughs> I'm kind of geeking out on the inside. I love anything that's like resembles rainbow or multicolor. Love it. I can't wait to use this in my planner. So that's it for washi. Quite an addition to my collection. I'm pretty excited about it. I have hauled this pen before. I absolutely love it. It says be inspired on it, but I was playing with it the other day and the clip broke off. So I figured why not just buy another one? It works great. I really love the way it writes. I'll just go ahead and show you. Why not? Did I already show you this before? I don't think so. This writes really nicely. I love it. And next I got the metallic gel pens. These look so pretty when you write on black. I want to get um, the black scrapbooks that has like the, I don't know what they're called. They're like the black cardboard backings and you just glue a picture in and then you can write next to it. I think it looks really cool when you use these metallic gel pens. So that's what I have planned, but we'll see how it actually works out. <laughs> and I got some lead for my mechanical pencils because fun fact, the mechanical pencils at the dollar spot at Target don't have a lead in them. I'm not sure if you guys have had this experience, but I have. Every mechanical pencil I have purchased at that dollar spot, no lead. <laughs> Oh, I have more tape. Oopsies. I got the couture tape. I don't, I guess this is like a floral maybe? Butterflies? I don't know. Yo, it's totally a butterfly. Haha. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Hearts? Hello, obviously I had to get that. And then this one, more butterflies and flowers. And then, uh, I don't know, what is this called? Is that Paisley? I don't know. I'm not going to open them. You guys have seen me open these before. So, not going to do it again. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's do it. These are not my favorite. I don't even know why I got them. I think it's just that excitement of the Dollar Tree hunt. Like I see these things in hauls and then I see them at the store and I'm like, oh yes, I have to get it. I think if anything, I'll probably just use these for mail. I don't send a lot of mail, but maybe I should start. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, little guy. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Happened, yep, there it is. It's just really cheap. I don't know, that's not anything I would use in my planner, I don't think. There's not very much there. I don't know. I probably won't be buying these again unless there's a super cute pattern that comes out. But I think I might be done with this couture brand. Don't quote me though, because you never know, I could change my mind. Moving on. <laughs> and something I definitely did not need was a planner. <laughs> this is a 2015-2016 student planner. 
They had all their back to school stuff out, of course. So I was in hog heaven. Oh, it's like a book cover. This is really cheap, cheaply made, but it'll do the job. That's what the layout looks like. I mean, it'd be nice just to throw in your purse. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty decent. The cover's kind of weird though. I don't know. I'll use it though. And then I also got the magnetic calendar for 2016. Look at how cute this is. It's so colorful. All the months are different colors. And I'm pretty sure you can use a whiteboard marker. Um, let's just try it out. Let's see. Oh, no, maybe not. No, I don't think you can. It's too porous. Well, shoot. That's all right, I guess. It's still super cute, and the whole back is a magnet. So this would be really nice to have in your locker or on your fridge. Very cute. And I have well, one more calendar item. <laughs> I don't even have that exciting of a life. Why do I need all these calendars? I don't know. This is a desk calendar. And I absolutely love these colors. I think it stands up. Let's just open and try it out, shall we? Would you look at that? Oh, it's very nice. This is actually really good quality. I'm really surprised. Cute. I would say definitely pick this up if you see it, if this kind of thing interests you. I was kind of thinking that the pages were gonna be super thin but they're really nice. I'm impressed. Cool. I'm always on the hunt for ways to organize my stickers and I thought I wanted to get like, you know people who collect baseball cards or Pokemon cards, how they have the binders that have like this little square pocket sh clear sheet thingies that you can put a card in. You can put like maybe, I don't know, like nine or 12 cards per sheet. I don't know, I haven't looked at one in so long. but. In the stationery aisle at Dollar Tree, I could not believe I found these. These are coupon organizers. And it has the, for three ring binders, the holes, and it's just these pockets. There's three pockets on each sheet for coupons. I did get two packages, so hopefully they're not too flimsy, but let's go ahead and open it and see what they're like. They are really super thin. Hmm. Wow, I'm really surprised how thin this is. I don't know, it might work. I'll definitely give it a try. It looks like, yep, the slots are up at the top of each compartment. You probably can't even see this because it's clear, obviously. Oh yeah, you can't see that at all. Huge fail. Um, so what I'm gonna do is try it out and I will let you know. Maybe I'll film a video of how I organize my stickers. I will show how I set up my sticker binder. So if that's something you wanna see, let me know in the comments. I will definitely film that for you if you guys want me to. And this next thing is so incredibly random. I have absolutely no reason to use this ever. So, uh, I don't know, it's these tattoo pens. Have you guys seen these? Have you used them? I'm tempted to open it up and try it, but I'm thinking I might save it for the giveaway. 
Let me know. If you guys want me to try this out, let me know and maybe I'll just put it on my Instagram or on Snapchat. Otherwise, I'm going to save it for a giveaway. So what do you want? Giveaway or do you want me to try it? Let me know in the comments. It's, I don't know if you can see it. It's a pink and a green. And it looks like there's a stencil. Let me know what you want me to do with this. I don't know, you guys. This next thing was pretty cool. I'm skeptical as to if it works or not. I haven't tried it yet, so let's try it together. It's these locker dry erase thingies. I don't know if these are movable. Let's see, does it tell us anything? Safety is on piano walls, metal lockers, even electronic equipment. Keep away from small children. Use dry erase markers and erase with dry tissue. So it sounds like they are removable, so that's good. And like I said, I haven't tried it yet. I have my dry erase marker right here, so let's test it out. I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry a little bit and leave it for a few minutes just to see if it does wipe off easily. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been like 30 seconds. I'm super impatient, let's just try it now. <laughs> I don't have a tissue, so I'm just gonna use this microfiber cloth that I got at Dollar Tree. Moment of truth, guys. Ah, it works. Nice. Oh, very cool. I'm so glad that worked. Now the true test is, will it erase if it's been on there for a few days? I'll let you know. I found these over in, they were next to the hangers. You know where they have like all the laundry stuff? They have like the laundry bags, hangers, the most random spot ever, but that's where they were. So if you want to get these and you can't find them in the stationery section, go look by the hangers. Makes complete sense. <laughs> the last thing I have to show you stickers these are so cute oh my gosh I have four sticker sheets to show you and they're all laser stickers so the first one is oh my gosh I have not looked at these in a while these are birds they're all birds and they are laser stickers oh my gosh these are so stinking cute oh and there's little flowers Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Nice hair, bro. Oh, I love it. And then this one, I loved it so much I got two farm animals. Look at the goat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Apples, oh my gosh, these are so cute. So I did get two sheets of those. And the last one, robots. Did you guys ever see that SpongeBob episode when SpongeBob thought that Mr. Krabs was a robot? That is a classic. That was like from the first season, I think. I don't know. Anyway, these stickers made me think of that episode. So that is all of the stationary products that I collected last month from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is really stepping up their stationary game. I am super impressed and very excited. Being a stationary addict can be very expensive, so I am so glad that Dollar Tree is able to feed my addiction at such an affordable price. That's really sad. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, your assignment for this video is to go down in the comments and tell me about the tattoo pens. Do you want me to test these out or do you want me to save them for a giveaway? Also, have you used the coupon organizer? Let me know what your experience has been. And I think that's it. Is that all the assignments for this haul? I think so. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I put out new videos every single weekend and new Dollar Tree haul videos every first and third Friday. If you'd like, you can follow me on all the social medias. All of my links are down below, so be sure to check those out. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Today
When you did it right 